Good morning, tubers. Welcome back for another adventure. Every once in a while, somebody will write in to me and say, Hey, I used your CDI hack and it doesn't work. I used the AC one and it just doesn't work. And the comments I'm going to make go for the DC hack also. So let's go right back to the beginning. I've been suggesting, you know, this is a pit bike wire harness. It comes with the CDI, it even comes with the spark plug. Right here's the harness. Uh, or excuse me, here's the um, ignition coil. There's the harness, there's the on and off. You push that button down and it, and it turns off the motor. And you could easily put that on here and I'll show you how to do that in one second. But I bought one of these and I've kind of set it up so that it's all nice and portable, right? I can bring this with me. And I brought it up to ATV Seat Exchange and I hooked it up and it didn't work. Then I realized that's the second time this thing did not work. I also had it at U Dizzy's and I put it on a 110cc um, China ATV and it didn't work. So, you know, I brought this home yesterday and I'm looking at it and I said, okay, well, maybe my ignition coil is dead. No, it was fine. Maybe my CDI is dead. No, it was fine. So then I, you know, took the wires off, hooked it up, and I'm probing around and everything seems to be as it should be. So I'm going, what the heck is wrong with this thing? What they did was when they manufactured it, you see the black wire with the yellow stripe and the red wire with the uh, black stripe, they swapped these two on the harness. They were just plugged into the wrong places. So what I'm doing is I'm showing you where they should be, right? Um, and that's the color code, and that's the way they should be plugged in to the CDI. If they're not plugged in like that, they're not gonna start. I always recommend when you buy some of this stuff from China, um, it all comes from China. They don't make it here in the United States. Anyway, I recommend that you buy two, right? Just in case you got a bad something, right? Normally they give you a discount on two. These are about, I don't know, anywhere 16 to 25 bucks, depending on who exactly you get it from. So um, if you could afford one, do yourself a favor, buy two. That way you have a second one should you need it, and that way also for troubleshooting, you could double check, you know, how they wired it and all. Though, don't be surprised <laughs> if they manage to wire two of them wrong and send it to you that way. So do check that. So what you're looking at is a, I don't know, 86 Honda TRX 200 SX. This thing is meant to have an AC ignition system, right? There's a coil in here that provides AC to power up your CDI. If you unplug the wire harness, you'll have all these nice little wires here. And you know it's the right side of the wire harness, the proper side, the side you need of the wire harness, because it goes behind the flywheel. This is the flywheel side, starter, flywheel, starter clutch, all that junk. Anyway, you want to be on the flywheel side, and you want to just unplug the harness. Okay, if you plug it into this side, it doesn't do you any good. Make sure you plug it into the right side. And yes, Harvey has made that mistake. As you look at it, you'll notice the following wires, right? Blue and yellow, black and red, and green. You need those. These two other yellow wires, they go back here to the voltage regulator, then the wires come off the voltage regulator, go to your battery and charge your battery. Now, I'm going to use one of, the, one of these nice portable CDI units. So what you do is, or AC CDI units, you just plug things in, right? Right? Not difficult to plug that in. Kill switch, plug that in, plug in 
your spark coil and then when it's time to install it right that goes there make sure wires don't short into anything now as you're looking at wires right you got blue and white here blue and yellow they go together you got black and red they go together green for ground and you have this extra ground green for ground I'm gonna put that right on the body so let me hook that up and I'll show you how this thing works so just quickly we have everything hooked up right see the spark plug wire is nice so we have a nice ground to the body right you got to make sure your engine block is grounded here's a ground that goes along with your pulse generator and your um, powering your stator power right so black and red to black and red blue and white to blue and actually that probably is white blue and white blue and yellow and green to green right so you got everything hooked up properly on and off switch everything set up I give the starter a little jolt and you see it's running turn it off there we go now when I worked on that 200 ES over the weekend the last well it'll be a couple of videos ago my stuff doesn't always go in the order that I make it anyway when I um, took that road trip to work on that 200 ES I had brought this along figuring I'll just you know ignore the wire harness that's on the all-terrain vehicle and you know smash this one right on unfortunately it didn't work and I'm like oh god what's wrong so um, make sure the wiring is correct on this make sure the colors are correct and I'm showing to them to you one more time so that was what was wrong there I have had you know when I get these things occasionally I have problems such as um, you could get a bad switch I haven't seen that yet on all these that I bought occasionally you get a bad coil I haven't seen a bad ignition coil though I've seen them torn up where people damage them um, but I haven't seen a bad one um, that that wasn't mechanically wounded I have seen a few bad CDIs, um, particularly the 12 volt ones. They like, they like to, uh, they like to go bad. A second common question I'm asked about using uh, these things: if you can find your CDI <laughs> um, or your pulse generator for your CDI, if you can find your pulse generator and hook up to it it will work as an example for this guy this is what the pulse generator looks like right a magnet goes by here on the outside of the flywheel and that's what triggers this this would be where your blue and white goes and the outside here is where your ground goes right the reason why these wires all match up so beautifully is when they came up in China, when they came up with the um, inexpensive all-terrain vehicles, they copied this wire harness, the colors and everything else, the pulse generator, all of it. They more or less cop copied it from the early Hondas, right? As an example. This is a pulse generator from a um, Honda 200S. Any of the all-terrain cycles with the overhead cam there, where they uh, where they put the mechanical. And notice the color of the wires. So if you can find your pulse generator, it will work out work for you. Um, somebody asked me about an Articac 4x4. Um, if you can find your pulse generator, you can make this basic system work. So far, this discussion has been about 
the pit bike AC CDI setup. Now, I built this portable box, and the only difference is this CDI runs on 12 volts, and you see those batteries there, they're what you use to power it up. Believe it or not, the wire harness is exactly the same. To power it up, you put 12 volts on the black and red, and uh, the ground goes where the green goes. As you're looking at CDIs and buying these things, or even fooling around, maybe you have a box of junk or some old parts, this CDI, see how narrow it is, right? This is the same size, but see how narrow it is, right? The round uh, plug one from the, um, from the early three-wheeler is typically relatively small also. This is so small, right, because it does not have any delay circuitry in there. You typically set these up um, like this guy. Right, there is no spark advance built into this. So this is set up with the maximum advance you're gonna need, and then the CDI unit is what delays the whole situation. For the early Hondas, they have the mechanical advancer up on top here, on the cam, the thing, right, with the weights and the magnet and all that, it only sparks every other time around, right? That's why this is so small. There's no um, delay built into it. There's no circuitry to slow things down. This is the pit bike one, same as that right there. And you can see it's a little bigger because they built in the delay circuitry. This one here is the four pin DC one. See how it's a lot bigger? And the reason why is there's an onboard oscillator for making the AC to pump up the capacitor. There's also delay circuitry built into that. That's why this is so big. So if you take this guy and you put it on here uh, to start this thing and to run uh, low RPM, this thing expects to have um, somewhat of a delay. If not, it's gonna kick back and fight you, right? Make it a little easier to start. So if you use this guy on this, you're going to have trouble. It's going to kick back. It might break your starter, stuff like that, break the starter gears. So the pit bike is perfect for this, for, the, um, for this engine. Now, let's say you're running this ignition system right with the pit bike delay on your Honda um, your, your Hondas with the mechanical delay. I find it works on some engines. You can, you can tell that they're lagging a little bit at idle. You got kind of a um, double delay, right? But they start, they run, they do okay. Same with this guy. I like this, and let me show you the difference between the spark. This is getting to be a long video, and I shouldn't be putting it all into one, but... Let me show you the difference in the spark, which is the reason why I happen to like the 12 volt ignition system. So here's what the spark looks like for the AC ignition system. Okay, here's what the spark looks like from the 12 volt system. See how it's wider? and bluer, um, it just seems to start almost everything um, with the 12 volt system. Once again, this has the big four pin in it. Same wire harness, just hook up to batteries. That's the only difference between the two. Okay, I know there's gonna be questions, so, um, you're going to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them as time allows. Basically, this system, the DC one, works on everything where you can find your um, pulse generator. you got to find the two wires off the pulse generator. Don't forget to hook ground up to the block also, right? You need a full loop for the spark to work. 
right? You have to define ground <laughs> or the spark plug doesn't know it's getting 20,000 volts and it doesn't know that it should spark because it has no definition up against ground to make things work. Same for your pulse generator, right? You're getting a pulse out of the pulse generator, but unless you define ground, you might get the pulse from the pulse generator into the CDI, but it doesn't know if it got a pulse or not because it doesn't know where ground is, so it can't define how much of a pulse it got. I hope this all helps. I need you all to keep your feet down, your heads up, and I need you to get out there and enjoy each and every day. Just do remember, occasionally when you buy components, they're not right. <laughs> they might show up to you dead. So um, keep that in mind when you're troubleshooting any kind of ignition problem. Thanks for watching.